Hey guys, it's Vivids and welcome back to another video. Now this is going to be the first out of the five uh, Fremnik Sagas and I'm going to be showing you basically how to complete all the Fremnik Sagas in 100%. Now why do you want to do this you may ask, well some of you may know because you've already come to this video. But essentially I'm trying to get the completionist cape and I need to complete the Fremnik Sagas to obviously get all the tasks completed for Dungeoneering. Uh, I think it's Demonheim, the Demonheim tasks, I'm not quite sure. But you need to complete all of the five sagas in 100%. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to do that. So to start off your sagas, you want to find Scaldron in Frozen Floors 1 to 11. So I found the easiest way to do this was basically just run around in Complexity 3 until you find a Frozen figure. And uh, if you manage to find some logs on the way there, um, you know, that's great. But otherwise, head back to the base and buy some logs from Old Mate at base and then head over to the Frozen guy. And then uh, light a fire next to him, which is just an option you can choose after left-clicking him. And then he'll teleport away and then pick up the bear kilt, which is uh, which is spawned next to him. So once you've done that, you want to make sure all of your items are banked. I've made the rookie mistake of <laughs> of always teleporting with my ring of, kinship, ring of kinship and running west to the to the saga dude, but you actually have to make sure you bank every single one of your items. Now, I've keepsake my max cape if anyone's asking, so theoretically, I don't actually have any items on me. But you want to head over to the saga dude, which is west of the... Um, which is west of the Dungeoneering Trader. His name is Scaldrum, which is the guy that you just free. So once you've done that, you want to have a little chat to him and then begin the Three's Company Saga. And, you know, once you're in the room, you want to head south into room number one and kill the wolf and the three bandits. And then make sure you pick up the gold charm and two Heim Crabs, which dropped. And then make sure you switch over to Owen and check the rocky debris. So then you want to head to the room uh, in the south, which is the sliding room. And make sure you're Ozan, because he's the only one that can do this puzzle. So make sure you switch over to Ozan. And this room can be difficult, it can be quite annoying, but the whole gist of this room is to slide around the little puzzle and basically stand on all the, th all the four different pressure pads, and there's really no easy way to do this, so just have a little mess around with it and you'll eventually get there. So you want to head through the room in the east, and make sure you kill the wolf and the two bandits, and then whichever character you have the gold charms and the heim crabs on, summon the skim weaver uh, with the obelisk, and then have a little chat to him. And you know you'll learn you'll learn some dungeoneering smithing techniques, but you'll need to you'll need this for the 100% saga completion. So once you've done that, head into room number four, which is to the east. But you have to be Ariana to solve the rune crafting puzzle. Now the rune crafting puzzle is exactly the same as the one in regular dungeoneering. So you just have to force. Um, I think it's imbue some of the uh, some of the little puzzle things or the little um, little squares or tiles or whatever they're called. And then for the remaining ones, just force them. It's exactly the same. If you ever get low on health, just eat some food if that you pick up throughout the dungeon, which is quite useful sometimes. But make sure you don't die with any of your characters. That's really, really important because as soon as you die, you're going to lose at 100% completion, which is why you're watching the video and this is why you're doing the actual saga. So once you've done the room crafting puzzle, head to the room in the north, which is room number five, and then just grab that green rectangle key and then make your way back to the base. So once you're at the base, you want to head through the green rectangle door into room number six, and then make sure you right click on the pressure pad um, to make sure Owen waits on that one, and then click on the other one, and let Ozan wait on that one. So you've got to be Ariana. I think it's Ariane. Yeah, it's Ariane. And you've got to imbue the door once you've once Ozan and Owen are waiting on um, a different pressure pad. And then just imbue the rune door and head through it. So once you're into the room, it's going to be room number seven. You want to solve this strange crystal puzzle, I think it's called. And you or you have to right click on, I think it's any of them, or just right click the one that I do because it may be the same for you. So hopefully it is because um, it's quite easy, the one that I did. Right click the crystal that I do and hit the promenition option. And then make sure you take note in, in which order the crystal spark because it may be different to mine. Now, if it looks very, very similar to mine, it probably is the same. So just make sure you pay attention to on screen, uh, you know, to see what you're going to have to do because it's quite easy. But there's going to be a pattern once you've hit the promenition option. And you basically have to just copy that pattern by clicking on the certain orbs that have poofed. So once you've completed that puzzle, make sure you grab that crimson triangle key, chilling on the floor, and then free Owen and Ozan from the pressure pads by just right-clicking them. So once you've done that, make sure you hit that crimson triangle key on the floor, pick it up, and then return to the base as a party. So you have to right-click uh, Ozan and Owen and get them to follow you once again. And you want to head through the crimson, uh, crimson triangle door into room number 8, which is to the north. And then kill the wolf and the two bandits. So then with Ozan, you want to head through the or the door to the east, which is going to be room number nine, and have a little chat to the NPC standing at the door. And the four options you want to be choosing are what are you guarding? Isn't guarding a door in these dungeons a little redundant? Who put you up to guarding the door? And why are you bothering to guard it? 
and once you're through, you'll be greeted with the statu uh, the sliding statues puzzle, which is exactly the same as the one in Dungeoneering. Once again, uh, the two um, the two rugs to the south have to be uh, copied to the two rugs to the north. So the southwestern rug has to be copied with the northwestern rug, and the southeastern rug has to be copy copied with the northeastern rug. And you basically do that by pulling and pushing the statues around the room so they exactly match the ones to the north. Now, I found the best way to do this was make sure, um, well, for example, if you're Ozan, you make sure uh, Ariane and Ozan are standing still somewhere. So just do that, right-click them and hit wait. And so, so they stand still because sometimes it can be a real, real pain if you're trying to push or pull the statues and the uh, Ariane's just chilling there and you're trying to push the statue but it's not working because she just stood there. So make sure uh, Ariane and Ozan are well out of the way and uh, make sure they're just standing in one spot. Then you want to head north into the uh, agility puzzle with Ozan, and you just have to run around the room like you normally would. And once you see that broken longsword, you just want to investigate it, and you'll need to do that if you want to get the 100% completion of this saga. And then you just want to run, run out through the door into room number 10 again. So once you're back into room number 10, you want to head east into room number 12, and just pick up the Fractal Pickaxe with any of your characters. And then you want to head back west into the room number 10, which is with the, uh, which is with the statue puzzle. And once you're in that room, you want to head south into room number 13 and kill the three bandits. And once those bandits are dead, you want to head east into the room number 14 and have a little chat with pickup sticks and tell them to exit the dungeon. And then you want to pick up the gold crescent key. Then you want to head back into the uh, the sliding statues room once again and then head west. So one one door west of that and then mine the pickaxe. Oh, and then mine the Zephyrum ore with uh, whichever character picked up the pickaxe. And you and you'll need to do that for the 100% completion once again. And then you want to head back into the base room, and then north into room number 8 into the boss room. So once you mine the ore, you want to head back to the base, and then head through the gold crescent door, which is which is room number 8. And then head into the boss room, which is room number 15. And all you have to do for the boss is really, really simple. Is kill the two arctic bears before attacking Khan, and then just to absolutely destroy... Uh, basically just kill everyone that's in there. <laughs> Once you've killed all of the scrubs that are in that room, you've basically completed the saga, so well done. But hopefully you enjoyed this video, and hopefully it helped. If you did, let me know with a like and a comment. But apart from that, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and uh, see you in the next one.